Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees, and I know I talked and taught a lot this year about Mason Bee predators, the pollen mites, the Houdini fly, and the mono wasp. Uh, one of the main reasons we ask all our hosts to remove their nesting blocks at the end of spring, and if you're hosting your own solitary bees, to make sure to remove your Mason Bee nesting material at the end of spring, because once we hit summer and the temperatures warm up, that's when the mono wasp will emerge. And mono wasps are teeny teeny tiny, they look like fruit flies. I think they're even a little smaller than fruit flies. Um, they have uh, red eyes and they have this long ovipositor on the back end. That's not a stinger, that's how the female pokes it into the cocoon and she deposits all her babies inside the developing mason bee cocoon which then of course kills all the baby mason bees inside. Uh, I did a couple videos uh, about a month ago on how to snip open your mason bee cocoons and examine them and I did find a cocoon full of mono wasp larvae. So I thought today I'd show you what a female mono wasp looks like. I have just come out to check on my leaf cutter bees and I am finding a couple of mono wasps flying around my black house. So I want to show you how tiny they are. Um, I know the wasp word is a little bit scary, mono wasp, but they don't sting um, and they're so small. You'll, you'll see in some of the videos, I try to put my finger up to show you the size and I'll squish a couple so you can see how easy it is. If you get squeamish, go ahead and just wear a glove or um, I don't know, whack it with a paper. They're, they're pretty quick, um, but they're easy to get. And if you see them, please try to squish them. It's a great way to help your mason bee population. So um, if you happen to still have your mason bees out, um, that is something that they can definitely crawl in through the mud, through the cocoon. She'll poke her um, egg layer, the ovipositor, and lay little babies in there. So if you are hosting, it's now time to remove your mason bee nesting blocks. If you're raising your own solitary bees, please make sure you're removing your nesting material at the end of the spring, uh, which is around this time frame. It's, it's the second week of July. Um, some mason bees still might be out flying, but for the most part, they're pretty much done. Um, and now it's on to predator season with the mono wasp. So um, here's a, a little clip on what I, to show you what the mono wasp look like. So you can, oh, there's one, there's one flying right there. If you can see it. Ooh, can I show you the size? Oh, he's going to fly right onto the camera. <laughs> Perfect. All right, that's a mono wasp. I'll show you how to squish it. Hold on. All right, so that mono wasp that was just flying into the camera when I was just filming landed so nice and easy onto the black house. So I'll, I'll show you my finger how tiny he is, or he or she. It's the girl because she's laying her babies. So she's super, super tiny and easy to squish. Oh, as long as she doesn't fly off as I'm about ready to show you. So she's over there now. So... That's all there is to it. Super easy to squish. Um, they don't sting, so you don't have to worry about it. And if you see any on your black house, I'm gonna see if I have any more, um, you're definitely gonna want to squish them um, to help your mason bees. All right. All right, that's what a mono wasp looks like, and that's how easy it is to squish them. I know some of you might not be comfortable doing that, and it's not a requirement. You, by all means, don't have to. Uh, it's just another part that we like to teach um, all of our solitary bee lovers how to keep an eye out for predators, how to protect your mason bees over the summer, so definitely remove those mason bee nesting blocks or nesting material, uh, and you definitely need to harvest and clean all of your mason bee cocoons and then sterilize all the nesting material in the fall. So I'll post those links down below on the mono wasp videos that I did about a month ago so that you have access to them. And please follow our YouTube channel, uh, email us if you have any questions, and follow our newsletter. You can find that on our homepage. So thanks for watching. Happy pollinating. Bye.